you guys instead had like uh, a not as interesting bats theme. Um, you went through my uh, dizzying sands uh, trap fairly easily, and it was very annoying that Bodhi just has the ability to wave it away now. Hooray, fuck you, haunts. Yeah, after we encountered the uh, the haunt skull trap in, what's it called? Uh, the next time I was able to level up and adjust my lay on hands, I gave it haunt immune. Wait, we leveled up? No, like back, this was I'm saying last time, we, when we, it was way back when we leveled up, I gave myself haunt immunity in my lay on hands. We haven't leveled now for a while, which is for the best, because we're strong. We sort of haven't played that much for a while. It's, mm. People have been so busy. True, but I think it's been five, six, maybe seven sessions since leveling, and that suits me just dandy. Why you guys are like level eight. I just don't like leveling in general. The longer it takes, the better. Yeah. Uh, you guys met Luana, uh, who uh, tried to have a uh, conversation with you beforehand and just let uh, Thel do her thing, but then Thel rolled a 20, so <laughs> we had to wait, like, a few hours. Um... She told you uh, about this place, uh, uh, kind of originally what it was. She's been here for a really long time. Uh, she sent Marlum up to uh, her actual house, which is kind of flying above uh, this place. She kind of uh, lives uh, half here and half there. Um... Oh, and uh, one of you, I think we're looking over her mother's astrolabe thing. Well, it's not astrolabe. Uh, astronomy thingy that... What's it called? Oh, man. Uh, oh, brain. Now all I can think of is the word astrolab. Yep. That, too late now. Dead whereas, forever. Whereas Thel was busy inspecting her astrolabia. Yeah. yeah. Um, then you guys uh, found some orbs. Uh, that uh, were glowing, and uh, one of them was filled with tantric energy, one of them was mm -hmm. filled with divine energy, and one was cracked and leaking arcane energy everywhere. Orrery, thank you. Yes. Did I miss a session? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you missed most of last session, yes. You came in very late. Because I would have enjoyed the orb of tantric energy. That sounds fun. And, uh, well, Thel jumped on top of it. And yeah, so she kind of she's took got... the juice out of that one. Well, no, she didn't. It's impossible to take all the juice out of it. But she basically, uh, filled up to the brim, uh, more than probably most succubi I've ever felt. Yeah. And, uh, she now has, uh, like a four day effect on her, I think. Yes, where she like, is unnaturally a, attractive to everyone day. around her and distracting to look at. She has become literally hypnotic. Yep. She does a little wiggle dance, every eye in the room is on her, and it was already pretty high chances that it would be anyway. Yeah. Um, and so when we last left off, uh, you guys uh, went off this direction, you Unlatched a door. We are and... still, we're still on the, we're still on the landing page. And he's still on the landing page. Whoop. Hey, look at us. And when we last left off, you guys had opened a door and found a uh, burning ring, and on the inside, a uh, very much undressed and unconscious manticore surrounded with little like meat chunks and blood i just didn't want to draw the meat chunks and blood because it looked really weird superimposed with the fire ah. do we kill her um no i don't know why am i here why are any of us here bruh Get some approach I think go back and keep swimming in the water. The water was nice. When you uh, enter the room, it seems like uh, the fire is kind of like uh, raging and swirling around itself, and there's like uh, buffeting uh, winds throughout the room in a kind of a circular motion, kind of like a fire tornado. Oh, dope. Okay. There's a word for that. I just don't recall it. A tornado. A tornado. I thought that happens at furcons. 
Oh, right. I, I, we were just talking about that. I was almost <laughs> accidentally involved in one. <laughs> Alright, so let's see here. Which energy protection did you put on me? Because there might be still some time left on it. Uh... Was, it, was, it, was it fire? Was it fire? I don't remember. It might have been electricity, actually. I have no idea. I do not remember. Oh well. I can't, don't don't ask me again. An imaginary hour has passed, then it actually wore off. I mean, I can I can give you. I mean, we did play in the water for a while, and we did have to wait for Thel for like hours. So. Oh yeah, you're right. No, that thing is long gone. Which speaking of, but I mean, I can put it back on. It'd be appreciated in case I get burninated. Um, so what was the description of the person we were hunting? Would this this lady have any uh, resemblance? Um, the description of the person you were hunting uh, pretty much matches this lady exactly, except for the fact that uh, all of the drakey bits are not on her anymore. Huh. Okay. Hi. Maybe she's cured? Might have been she's something temporary. Unconscious. Yeah, no, she's she's out of fucking cold. Can uh, we throw some at her to wake her up? Actually, no, don't don't pay attention to my ideas. I've almost gotten killed twice because of them. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I would appreciate some kind of magical oven mitts. To be fair, one of the um, things I had for the... Uh, what's her name? The Dryad Queen was uh, one of her traits was haughty jerk. So it doesn't it doesn't change the fact that I've almost been killed twice by the Fae. <laughs> well, the first time was your own fault. I don't even remember what I did that time. All right, I'm gonna turn on my detect magic and. You know, keep staring at it long enough to start making arcana checks. Oh boy, that's a lot of magic. It certainly is magic. Yeah, but uh, let me get the link. Yeah. After a while, you can actually learn. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's um. Uh, you can like learn what level I think, and uh, this is definitely transmutation and enchantment. Cool. Enchantment. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's a, yeah, as it says there, it's a magic items where you um, figure out the actual properties of them as opposed to active spells. Otherwise, you just learn what they're made up of. Oh. Mm. Well, I mean, if I, I do have the link in my spell description, it's. Yeah, like... uh, that's uh, I copy pasted that out of the uh, third round section of the same link. Uh, yeah, if I've got the uh, protection versus encrispification, I'm going uh, to pull out the, uh, you know, the flaming Bane Lucerne and sort of just, like, poke it into the fire nado, plant my feet and make sure I don't just get tugged away with it. Alright, say that again. You kind of cut out for me. I I'm trying to figure out what you said, but... Oh, okay. Uh, did I cut out for anyone else? I think it might have just been me because I was uh, trying to adjust my uh, my headset as it was plugged into my computer. Oh, okay. Apparently the official name for a fire tornado is either a fire whirl or a flame devil. A flame devil, you say. Alright, I hate to say this, but I gotta be uh, right back. I really gotta use the restroom. A fire whirl, also commonly known as a flame devil, or in many cases erroneously as a fire tornado, fire nado, fire swirl, or fire twister. Okay, cool. Um, I'll wait for him to return then. So, how's the wife and kids? They're wifey and kidsy. I'm gonna poke the fire with a stick. <clears throat> I, I assume you're gonna, like, not have your flamey bits on the uh, stick turned on, because feeding a fire with fire seems Oh no, like more like, idea. I just want to make sure that if I pick the one that's fire and junk, it's probably gonna get damaged by sticking it in a fire nado. Mm. 
Yeah. We sure suck if I, you know, just sort of poked it with that ancient killing uh, Lucerne instead and it just starts melting. It's from the fucking Bronze Age. Yeah, so apparently one of the archetypes of Vermintide 2 is a... looks like a Sigma, right? Yeah, there are a whole bunch. Uh, I am I am excited to play some more of that game and record content about it, maybe just so try and get through everything that is different and far better. Oh, by the way, uh, which class did you play when you were playing? Uh, I played the initial one. Uh, you have to unlock them by character level as you go through, so I started as the standard Wayfinder. <sighs> Welcome the same way stalker. That's not a uh, person with a bow and arrow and two swords, is it? Uh, it the way be. stalker, way stalker yeah. whatever. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. I plant my feet. I've got a fiery enchantment on me, and then I'm going to use the fire magic lucerne, not you know, obviously turned on, uh, and then I'm going to poke this fire nado with it. Presumably, it won't melt. It's made of encrispification. Oh Ooh, yeah, no, no. Uh, your uh, weapon will uh, start to try to pass through the fire, but then uh, it kind of feels like you're pushing against mm, uh, a field of just, you know, like a wall of energy. Mm. Can anyone tell me if trying to just sort of smash this wall apart would be a good idea or not? Can give it a go. Uh, spellcraft or Arcana? Uh, either one will work. Uh, like I'll tell you the last time I was in here, smashing a wall was not a good idea. This is true. Is there anyone able to assist? <laughs> and spellcraft? Uh, technically it's trained on Bodhi, even though she can't cast anymore. She lost that, gave that power uh... up for boosts. But I figure Maya had, uh, sorry, Lyra like I could assist you, yeah. Well, it's 29. You figure that, uh, just trying to blunt force with it, one of two things would happen. Either, uh, well, one of one thing would happen, first of all. Your hammer, uh, her hammer would just, uh, bounce back with about as much force as she put into it. If she kept her hands on it, then she'd twirl around like a top. If she let go, it'd fly out of her hands, get embedded in the wall. Damn. Okay. We could dig a hole. There's a hole in the bottom. Uh, we don't want to actually try and do any damage to this building itself, considering it's someone's domain. Oh. That'd piss him off. Can we... I could try to zap it with Dispel Magic. If you think you got the juice. Can we just try uh, shouting him awake? Well, I mean, probably we don't want it to wake up and then thrash around inside of the endless deadly fire plume wall. Ah, yes. Shout the wall apart. How many of you got a foos row and a da? Yo. <laughs> you could try to counter it. What, got may ice nato? Maybe, yeah, maybe a sufficient amount of ice or water would do it. Might Ooh, cancel I, it out. I do have loads of snowballs. <clears throat> loads of snowballs. I mean, that doesn't quite sound like it would do the job. Yeah, I bet you like snowballs. I mean... Probably not quickly. Uh, I mean, try the dispel thing. My work. Otherwise, I'll like walk over <clears throat> to this wall and knock gently on it and ask if they can let the idiot go, and we'll take her out of their hands. It's a good rock. It is, but it has to um be like. Well, actually, that would beat up to cast a level 12. Mm -hmm. Which is, like, maximum of human magics. So unless there's a god that's done it, I hope I should probably succeed there. The uh, fire seems to uh, flicker and die out a bit, but it still seems to be going, you know, not necessarily strong, 
Wing seems to stay like that for now. So it's been sort of muted a bit. Uh, I will test the pressure of it again with the Lucerne and see if I could get any kind of like force through it. Uh, it certainly seems to have a lot more give than it used to. I mean, I can do that again if you like. Sure, if you can give it a go. I have another idea, but it's kind of a crazy plan and probably wouldn't be super fun. Shoot. <laughs> Oot. Don't mind me. Okay, cool. I'm gonna announce. Oh, that's a. Oh, I know. I oh, I know. Never mind. That's I can't do that. Never mind. Can I make any? Can I make a perception on it? Sure. See if anything has changed. I told you what changed. It has dimmed uh, in. It is dimmed in power, and there is now a little bit more give to it since that first attempt. Then I can do just about fuck all here. Hey, Lirelai, I'm sure that you look forward huh? to this opportunity. But could you make me really big? I might actually just try and reach in and haul her out before she dies. <gasps> yes. Okay. I will give. I will embiggenate you. Oh boy. I will spend seven power points to make you huge size. Huge, huge. huge. Shit. <clears throat> okay then. Here we give it a go. Uh, oh, oh. And then I'm going to try and like I'll use the Lucerne thrusty style instead of hammering style and just dig it into the floor at the firewall. If only you had a really big shovel. Then we could use it. You could use it as a as like one of those big pizza boards and just lift her out. It's kind of like what we did with Tam. Yes. Pretty sure we don't have a shovel knight. Pretty sure my dex is now horseshit, but we're there. It'll work. What's that? Your dex is horseshit. Hang on a second. Uh, the, you don't need to stack more buffs onto me right now. Hopefully, I won't need it. <laughs> that said, my dexterity as a huge size creature is nine. Pretty sure it's Aye. negative three. Or is it just negative two? I don't know. Yo mama. Whatever. So yeah, if I use this, uh, my now fuck massive Lucerne's just head as a leverage into the bottom of this firewall, can I lean into this thing? Uh, make me a strength check. I'd love to. I would not. What the fuck was that roll? Oh. Um, to become huge, you lose. You get you get a minus four to your dex. Oh, it's minus four. How much strength do I get? You get a plus four. Okay. Good. Hmm. Well, uh, you struggle against it, but the farther you get into the firewall, the harder it becomes. <sighs> I'm gonna sigh and prop the lucerne up against the wall. Rub my big old fucking mitts together. Stand as far into the corner as I can. Are you going to pole vault? Uh, does this fire NATO hit the roof? Uh, the ring of fire, no. The force, you don't know. All right, I am going to indeed. I spend eight power points and give you plus four, plus four strength and strength and dex. <laughs> Shit. Okay. So what, you have a plus eight on you now? Yes. That sure is uh sure is a big number right there. Holy shit. Alright, so yeah, I uh power vault over this flaming wall and I'm going to just try and bodily land on this chick. I'll leave my Lucerne on the other side so that I can use both hands to just scoop her up and fucking bundle backwards through the fire. I'll use my wings to like, you know, keep her from incrispinating. Like a little body sure. cocoon. Make me another strength check. So help me, I hope this doesn't fuck up. There we Die. fucking go. Uh, you barrel through the... Uh, the circle of force, and uh, you are now stood atop a uh, naked manticore. Cool, I'll scoop her up into my big old bony arms. 
form a uh, a wing wall, uh, and then I'm just going to try and body slam my way back out again. Wow, I really like 44. Okay, um, to it's uh, just as hard to get out as it is in. And I will roll exactly what I need to do it again. You can get okay. your 44s or take my 22s. Exactly half of what you got. Twice. Ow. <laughs> Yay. When I want fun things to happen, it's supposed to be high. You jerk. The no fun police. I imagine I do take some damage. How much gets absorbed by... by resisty? Huh? No, you don't. Oh, okay, dope. You're passing through too quickly. Awesome. You're not, like, reaching a hand in there and then, like, pulling her out. It's like uh, flicking your finger through a candle. Yep. I'm just gonna stand at the ready in case this was a terrible idea. Yeah, and then I will uh, scoop my weapon back up, place it on my shoulder, and then give this chick a poke. She is very unconscious. Alright, I'll give this chick a healy poke instead, and I will recover ability damage if it has it. Let's see here. Oop. It does all those things. Do I even have her hip bar able to be shown? Uh, no, I do not. Is it shown now? It is. Okay. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Yay! Well, she looks a lot better. Still very asleep. All Oops. Right. Let's see here. I thought I could heal damage too. It can. Your your uh, Nimbus can do that. Oh, I need to hit my Nimbus button. Oot. Oh, there you go. So she can have three points of ability damage if there are any. Uh, and anyone nearby can also restore ability damage if they had any. Well, the giant scorpions that you fought didn't do any poison like ability damage because their stingers were in fact Kopeshes that did bleeding damage. Yep. Which looked really, really cool, but I couldn't roll for them, so, you know. You couldn't roll didn't, for a thing? Didn't the, dragon, know, right? didn't the dragon say that she was going to be in here and some other shit? I mean, she got punished for pissing the place off, but it looks like she doesn't appear to be a monster anymore? Yeah, alright, then I guess uh, while I'm huge, I'll force myself to squeeze through the wall and I'll just carry this manta check. Oh god, okay. is this how it feels to get well, to be Collier and get around? Pretty much. <sighs> says says your guitar. Um, I'm just a bee pattern tar. Bee tar? Not really. I'm basically a yellow zebra tar right now. Here, if you Pretty want to give me yeah. token control, I'll just drag her around to save make life easier. Take it away if she does stuff. Which one? What do you think? Okay. So, uh, yeah, that was the last room of this dungeon. And now you have the lady you were seeking. Um... Bodhi, when you were in there, you uh, kind of, uh, you probably stepped in a lot of uh, viscera from what appears to be all of the extra, you know, drake bits. Who sort of came off, huh? Maybe. Uh, kind of like a so... lizard shedding its skin. You know what's a good idea? I will uh, hold uh, the manticore it... vaguely under the arms just so it doesn't, like, you know, drown and then dunk her in the water. Just sort of Get some goop off. Nah. She reads like a cat. Splush, splush, splush. 
Scrubby the cat. I'll give her a little heart icon. Yay, she's now clean. All right. She won't wake up smelling like, uh, you know, you know gross. gross. Ass and bad decisions. Yep, cool. And then I just sort of continue carrying her out. Uh, I know. Do we have to leave this place? It's a really nice pool. It's a very nice pool, but, uh, I think we do. <sighs> Back into the sun. Yep. Summer fun. Mm. Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. Here comes the sun. We'll say it's all right. Has this all right. changed at all uh, while we were there? I was about to say, uh, when you get into this uh, room, the orb appears. Uh, the crack seems to have deepened, and it seems to be exuding. Uh, at least a noticeable amount of more, uh, you know, m basically magic runoff. Oh yeah, those dispel magics, right? I wonder if I can enchant my hammer by sticking it in that. I want to be really far away before you do that. All right. Um... Yeah, just uh, don't. Is this one of those Volan let's not and say we did situations? Yeah. Let's not even say we did. It pr would probably be a bad idea to say. Okay. Just such a tight squeeze for Bodhi everywhere now. Yeah, she has to take her time going through all the things. Like, try not to be... What was this way? That was the way to the desert, which took us around to the back of that door in the first place, which used to be closed and we couldn't get through. We've now opened the back door. So... What happened if anyone touched it? Nothing, or...? You got blasted. Oh! I I don't feel like being blasted again. I... You're really good I... at getting blasted, though. I've had enough near-death experiences for one day. Oh, so, yay. are you... Uh, are you leaving, or...? Was there anywhere we didn't explore? No. You explored, you explored everywhere. Me. This way goes back to uh, Luana. Okay. Then let's go, I guess. Should we verify with the dragon that this is the chick we're looking for? But we know that this is the chick we're looking for. It's not a dragon's mission. We just said we take him off and take her off his hands. I know, I know, but we we could go talk and we could go. No, back and talk let's not her bother again. him again. But he seemed to like company. I mean, he did, but at the same time, I mean, no glance over at Thel. He was occupied for like a while. Well. I mean, we can stop in and say goodbye on the way past. Yay. Yeah, I guess we'll we'll stop by the dragon on the way out and say, hey there, how's it going? Head it out now. Uh, and then sort of like hold aloft the cat. Got Do this you thing. want to go to that map? Uh, yes, please. Okay. Let me... Um... Yeah, you guys are all over here. Oh, I had a measuring tool out. That's disappointing. And get out of here, Marlon. You're not a real boy. <laughs> You're not real people anymore. You're busy beating feet in the army. Um, Let's put the cat here. Let's make Bodhi big. There we, there we go. I still have my hammer out just in case you did. This is a terrible idea. Uh, God, I cannot remember the ways to anywhere. We need to get you on that um advanced lighting. Oh, this is Sarah Rain's room. Okay, cool. Uh, this is uh, hang on. Up here is the room of uh Lady Grumpy. Okay, cool. And basically, uh, back where you came from and up is the way out. Okay, then. Because you guys opened up a door uh, that led to the beginning of the dungeon. Sure. sure. Do, we'll do we have to go back to the grumpy woman? No, we don't want to go back to the grumpy woman. Let's leave her in peace. She's finally got the place how she likes it, and we're kind of holding the person that, you know, tried to mess shit up again. I'm sure she'd appreciate the peace. Okay. 
I will lean in the door and give uh, Dragon a little, little finger wave goodbye. Ah, leaving so soon. Right, so fantastic adventures. Ah, yes. Well, you have your fun now. Got a chick. We're good. Yeah, I'll, I'll pop by in a couple hundred years or so. I look forward to it. I bet you do. I have the sketches of her. Thel's gonna just, like, hop onto the other shoulder and take advantage of Bodhi Prime. This machine was built to play communists. <laughs> then I reach this, this bit of the door, I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. Elves are the very definition of failure. Uh, All right, I tuck my wings. Can I can I use my hammer and try to push her through? Go, 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 go. Yeah. Pop out on the other side, like uh, when uh, you're trying to squeeze that last bit out of uh, toothpaste, and then it comes out unexpectedly. Mm-hmm. Need some grease when you do that. Okay. No, that wasn't that wasn't asking for grease, Maya. Not yet. Okay. Well, um, at least while that. I'm massive, I can haul Corlier up there properly. <laughs> Thank you. All right, and I don't really have a map for just. Um... Well, I do have a map for the waste, which I guess we'll use. So. Um... Let's all let's get these guys out of the way. Get you up here. Maya, you're up here. Winter, you never pay attention. All right, copy all over and bring you over to the Valor wastes. Do do. Sake bomb consumed. Sure. Have a wine. Ugh. I can never do sake bombs myself. They turn my stomach. I'm a firm believer that anything called a bomb shouldn't be drunk. It's, um, basically a boiler maker, but terrible, because, uh, it's sake instead of whiskey. Anything like an Irish car bomb? No. No. Nothing like an Irish car bomb. Irish car bombs are gross, too. Because I hate Baileys, with a passion. Yeah. Any. I don't mind so, an Irish car bomb, but... The only good Irish car bomb is with the shot is all whiskey. And then it's just a Boilermaker again. Yeah. So, um, you guys are now outside of the dungeon, and I guess I'll show you guys where you are on the map real quick. You're over here. What? Oh. Missing Alchemist. So, I, I'm gonna be honest, you guys. When we took this job, I really didn't expect we'd get her alive. Yeah, yeah that was kind of unexpected. So, um, suppose we have to go do? by the oasis first, and then we can go pick up the other stuff. Especially since I don't want to haul around a naked cat the entire time. Well, we can probably make her slightly less naked. Well, yeah, that. Um, but he just will tug off a cloak of uh, weather goodness. Just, oh, wait, no, she won't, because she would blind everyone with her armor. <laughs> if she did that, you would all go blind. Uh, let's see here. I'm pretty sure I carry clothing as a spare thing, though. Uh, oh, I've got blankets. I never use blankets. I give her a, I throw a blanket over her. Okie dokie. And it is nighttime out. Oh, it's nighttime. You guys were in there for quite a while. Oh, then I will in fact put the uh, green robes of comfort on her so she doesn't get cold in the desert. Die. Good old robes of comfort. And I still have my fancy hat. Fancy hat. It's very fancy. Fancy hat. Fancy hat. 
Yeah, it's the Lawrence of Arabia hat that just makes deserts awesome. Fancy hat. And let me archive up these pages real quick. All right. So, uh, what do you guys do this night? Oh, no, Jesse, what happened to your little friend? Oh, no, Jesse. Disappeared into cleavage. Um, The fairy. And... Where's Lirali? What happened to Lirali? What she is she? Lirali is just gone. Oh, oh no! Where did I leave her last? Yep. I was right behind you. And... I was right next to Jesse. Are you hiding underneath Collier? Yeah. I don't think so. Uh, and... Not under you. Ah! There we go. All as well. I'm not lost anymore. Lirali, uh, um, uh, just rounds the corner out from behind the, uh, out from, uh, the dungeon. And, uh, when people ask where Lior is, she just kind of, uh, fishes around in her, uh, top and just pulls her out. Yep. Yay! That was fun! Oh my. Getting lost in Marshmallow How. I was on an adventure. It's the long journey down there. How long am I big, by the way? Um, hmm. With the amount of power I put into it, it's about... Oh, 70 more minutes? About an hour, give or take. An hour? Okay. Hmm, shrinking. Shrink dinks. Shrinky dinks? Turning. Volant. Well, I mean, he turns into a puppy occasionally. It's only when he makes fairies angry. Yeah. When he sneezes. When he sneezes, he turns into Oh, a... it's when he sneezes. It's right, it's a curse. Yep. Mm-hmm. When he sneezes, he turns into a puppy. It'd be kind of weird to do that with a puppy, though. Uh... Whenever you get turned into a puppy, she just stuffs you in her backpack. You just pop your little head out. Woof. Not that much baritone, remember, you're a puppy. Woof! (laughs) Oh no, the SRD is having a problem. Is it? No, Caleb's freeze. It's like bad, I'm just getting bad gateways. I can't seem to go to the thing I want to go to. Once every blue moon, it just decides to crap itself. Ah, it sure yeah, isn't loading. Oh, if... huh, yeah. It's... Guess it just went down in the past few minutes. Yep. That's unfortunate. Well, I don't need to know the full version of what any of my spells do. It's fine. I'm sure we won't get into a fight, probably. Probably, probably. So... Random encounters! To be fair, if you guys just sit up here, you could just, like, set up, at, like, you know, a few feet away and, like, uh, inside and hang out with Sarah Rainth. Sounds like an idea, omnipotent voice. Yeah, I guess just hanging around say... for the night seems like a good idea. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a possibility. Yeah, so well, <laughs> on returning, we're like, I take it back, we aren't leaving yet, because it's, it's got dark while we were down here. Totally forgot. Time happens. It's very, very clear out, and you can see forever into the night sky. It's even clear enough that you can see uh, the purple haze of 
uh, the nebula. Nice. Whoa. Can we see the purple rain? The pink haze, sorry. Can we see the black hole sun? But I don't want to wash away the rain. But won't you come? Have you guys well, seen that music video? It's weird. Yeah. I've seen about half of it and I was extremely confused. It's good. I like Soundgarden. So, uh, what do you guys do? Yeah, we'll make camp inside the ruins then, I guess. I'm sure yeah, Lyra would appreciate um, being near the pool of fun. Set up, hey! camp, finish, set up camp, finish my sketches. Keep an eye on the weird manacore thing. Mm -hmm. I'll, cool. you know, spend a couple of uh, casts of keep watch, so anyone who wants to do overnight things can and still get full rest. Mm. So long as they're not too strenuous, but stuff is too strenuous. Mm. That's unfortunate. Yeah, but, you know. Sadly, I'm not prepared to make to make nice dreams for people. Oh, well. But not in the right headspace for it. Regular soup would be just fine. Glomp onto Jesse. So, is there anything anyone would like to get done uh, this night? Uh, mm, no, no plans. I guess I'll keep an eye on that manticore. Can I set up my magic workshop to uh, start, I don't know, magicking my hammer? Sure. Neat. Um, are there any rolls you want to throw out that? Tell me what you're doing. Oh, I'm not the only one that got that. What? Did you get that from... from... Merzeni too? Oh, uh, that was accidental. It's... Oh. Like, the button to make that happen is right above the button of actual skills, so... I can make you do things! Hey, look, you jumped really well! You do a sick backflip. Wicked. So, Rem, tell me what you want to be doing with your hammer. Well, I would like to see if I could put an enchantment on it, but it appears that the that the SRD has crapped itself. Um, yes. The FSRD did? Yep, yep, it's gone. Rip, how about the uh, SRD in uh, Roll20? Ooh, I've actually never used that SRD. It's oh, missing a lot because there's no possible way they could fit that shit in. Mm. But it's something. You can use the archives of Nethus. Yeah, I um, thought you guys were talking about the compendium being uh, down. I was like, well, that's not really important. No one uses that. No, the actual SRD is down for me. Wonderful. Um... Well, tell you what, uh, you tell me what you want to do, and whenever the SRD comes back, we'll apply your rules to whatever it was. Here, Ren. You can try this, try this. Play. What do we got here? And surface unavailable. Try again. Just reload it. Oh, wait. Shit. Here we go. Okay, well, while Rem looks that I'm up... sure is while... unreadable on my head. Holy shit. Look at that on stream. Jesus. Alright, well, while Rem's looking that up, uh, Maya, what would you <laughs> like to do tonight? There's a Starfinder version where the net where the Nethus is a big cyborg man. Oh, um, let's see. Is Fel going to be spending the evening with Dragon? 
I don't know. Sell. Uh, yep. <laughs> All right, then I shall do sketches of Thelma. Hmm. Yep. All I was right. going to show off the fact that she is, uh, you know, touched the tantric orb of fun and will saunter back on in. All right. Um, when you do so, uh, Sarah Raint is no longer male. Huh. I'll be damned. That's fine. So we'll, uh, wiggle her tail pointedly. More, more like, uh, you know, uh, Thel comes in, uh, and Sarah Raint just kind of, you know, after, uh, understanding that you're going to spend the night, uh, has already tried it one way, so now they want to try it another. Dope. All right. And, man, if I, uh, ever manage to port all my tokens... Oh, wait, hang on. Maybe my tokens are here. Hang on, hang on. Um, hey. Okay. Hey, Scout. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to drag you over here. Voting down. And we'll just put you on the main page. Sure. There you are. One time during the night, uh, Sarah Wright turns human. Ah, uh, well, in a... Human ash. Uh, yeah. Sweet. So, my uh, other male token was not here. That makes me sad. Alright, let's put you back over here. Although, I, can, I, re I guess I can just show you uh, the, rest, the rest of you, because none of you are going to see it. But, yeah. Aww. And Sarah Rain's, um one of their two human forms. Big ol' Goldie. So, um, Corlea, what are you gonna do tonight? Uh, not much. Good talk. J just relax. Can I place thundering on my hammer? Um, what's your hammer again? Earthbreaker. Uh, what's it made out of is uh, my question. Uh, let me check. I, you know, it's not like you couldn't. I'm just uh, out of curiosity what it's, what it's made of. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to be checking myself. Looks like, uh, looks like Silver Sheen Cold Iron. All right. Uh, but yeah, you could uh, probably uh, enchant that up. Do you have the materials on hand? Uh, let me see if I have materials. You will need the materials and a workbench, but you already have one of those magic ones that you can just tote around with you. So. Well, yeah, consider. Okay, that's not the spell I need for that. Um, does someone have the Blindness Deafness spell? God, no. Nope. What do you mean by God, no? Do you know how few spells I, of good level I actually get to pick? True. Yep. Bard 2, Cleric 3, Sork, Wizard 2. Not something I can get. So I don't have no slots. But you do have slots. <laughs> I do got slots. Well, Thel does. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, does this manticore wake up in the night? Uh, Not through the night, no. Hey, considering I still have some juice left in the tank, I'll probably boop her a bunch more times with Lay on Hands and then she'll go into... Just sort of statue next to her and see if she just hang out until she wakes up. Okay. Uh, give me an average of how much hit points you give her back. See here. Or you can just click it a bunch, I guess. Yeah. Every time. All right. 
I have four costs of it. Shit, that's a large bar though. Just done the dice instead. 26, 30, 40, 58. 58 health. Uh, and if she took any uh, lust damage, she sure did heal health. that as well. Full health. Yep. And she's super safe against being haunted and super... Well, I mean, fatigue is removed multiple times, but fatigue doesn't cross in with uh, consciousness at all. So... Apparently I can't put... Since if no one has blindness deafness, I just have to pick up scroll of that. Could potentially put on impervious. Actually, with a, uh, s I believe with a spellcraft check, you can, um, you or a spellcaster mm -hmm. can, like, work around not actually having the spell. Well, I know that, uh, my witchaditcher. Milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. No, no. Um, I'm pretty sure my craft arms and armor rank counts as my caster level, so I could do it that way. Hmm. Caster level doesn't pull into your spellcraft capabilities, so you're gonna need someone to actually do magic or give you a scroll or whatever parts. Like you have the ability to do it, but you do not have the spell. And you don't have the spellcraft necessary to fake a spell. <laughs> Good old Big Jesse. Aww. Don't worry, he's finally big enough that he can actually get all of his dangus and lyralized cleavage, her endless boobages. And here I thought that. And here I thought that uh, they use selective enlarge. I don't have some. No, I can't just do that. <laughs> I can't just do a big and penis. I mean, that is a spell. It is, but it's not a psionic. <laughs> I mean, be better. Look, if you think hard enough, you can indeed make people bigger in the penis. It's just a very natural... Oh yeah, that's a spell I created once before in an ultimate game. Yay! I'm actually surprised... The, sele the, 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 sele the selective enlargement spell. Oh yeah, um... Oh yeah, I think, um... Very annoyingly, Merzendi has Celadry's Reversal. Yes. Yes. Yes, she does. My favorite second level spell. It is so fucking nonsense. Next level horse hockey. Well, I can't really think of. Uh, well, hold on. Can't really think of any magical ability I can put on my things right now, then. Alright. Really just like sidebar. I really like Esselidri's art as well. Yeah, that's good art. All right, are we continuing on? A brand yep. new day. All right, so uh, it's the next day, and Bodhi. Yep. You'll be the first one to notice as your charge stirs and begins to wake up. Oh, Bodhi will soften her form. Got the uh, Lisa and just sort of propped up next to her. Crouch down. Give the Manticore a poke on the side. Morning. Ah, uh, oh, ow. Hey. It's, who are you? Where am I? Well, that's a lot of questions. Do you remember turning into a monster and going on a rampage? I remember that feathered bitch turning me into one, yes. Ah, alright, that's cool. That confirms some information for us quite usefully, actually. Uh, yeah, that the being who did that uh, is a thing called a hag, uh, and they want to destroy the world. So they're trying to fuck shit up around here. Hmm. And yeah, things did not go particularly well. Uh, 
but we climbed into a weird ancient dungeon, and she'll indicate the room that you're in. Admittedly, you know, it goes a lot deeper. Um, Paul Dredd of a ring of deadly fire. Uh, gave you a dunk because you were gross. And uh, here we are. I'm ready to leave. I vaguely remember things, but they're more like flashes of light. That, that didn't make sense. Um, memories, I suppose? Uh, it's all fragmented. Okay. It's like it happened a very long time ago. Where are we? Uh, in an ancient underground ruin. There's a lot here. Do you know which one? Uh, to the west, about a day of the from the village. You mean Sarah Rain's tomb? Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's not a tomb. Sarah Rain's still around, doing what he do. Sarah Rain's still alive. Sure, he's a dragon. I thought he was slain long ago. Nope. We all did. No, he's cool. Nice guy. I think he's still busy having sex with a succubus right now, but, you know, doing fine. Hmm. Uh, who sent you here? Where, where are you from? Not You do not look familiar. We do not... I've heard of gargoyles before. Well, we're from a land far, far away. From a journey through time and space. In the realm of the you... mighty Boosh. Uh, you we... traveled time? Um, well, I mean, considering we jumped from time zone to time zone, sort of only technically. We traveled a long way in a very short period of time. I see. Also, your mastery of the language is impressive and useful. Oh, that would be the only item of clothing I seem to be carrying. She uh, points to a choker around her neck with a little bell on it. Oh, I mean, she'd also be wearing Bodhi's uh, a robe of comfort. Yeah, but it's not clothing. Yeah, that's true. Technically, neither is what she's wearing, but apparently she considers it so. Fair enough. Can you enlarge an enemy? This, uh, I'm pretty sure Lyrilai can't because she uses her powers on people who are in her brain zone. Yeah. I could. There's a feat where I can forcibly add somebody to my collective, and then I could use all my powers on my pow my abilities on them without them being able to make any kind of saves but it'd be so mean you just put an undead in your um in your zone and have someone do fucking um uh, uh channel divinity and then you just put all the overhealing in them and make which means oh my god the brain they would explode well actually i don't know my healing is not exactly positive energy oh, but right. But then again, that undead, other though, then in other people's and healing is would be. Oh, I think I was just ghouls whose heads explode like the guy out of scanners. <laughs> uh, if you do enlarge really on someone, awesome. yeah, their AC would go hella down. True. Their AC well, would their damage down. would also go up. Yeah, their damage would. Well, assuming they use strength for damage, uh, their weapons would go up in size. Uh, their size would reach as a result would go up. Um, but yes, their decks would drop and their size would impose a penalty as well. Can you hear me? Yep. Yep. Welcome back. Yeah, that was interesting. First time my computer's ever crashed out of the blue. Was it a B-Sod? I... Was it what? A B-Sod, the blue screen of death. Uh... Yeah, it was a blue screen saying something has gone wrong with the computer, but I... Yeah, that's the classic blue screen of death. Make sure to They're keep like up the, the red habit rings. of um, cleaning your computer, because if it overheats, it will occasionally be sod you. Oh, hey, the SRD is working again. Yep. Well, it is kind of just... Hold on. Sort of. 
bits of it are. The whole feats section seems to still be gone. It's coming back online. Uh, Initiating brand directive. Are really the forcibly adding someone to my collective? It's like a, it's stage one in a, in like a, it's step one in a, um, a tree of a billet of, of strategy. Because then I would, ha I would have to get um, another feat, the network power feat, so I can um, um, modify any power I learn to be a networked power. And right now, just by default, it's just a select number of spells are automatically networked and or any kind of uh, healing spe power. Right, yeah, the, is that also any automatically. healing power. Yeah. Any okay. healing power or one of the designated powers are all network powers. But with network power, the feat I could make anything I learn. If, which means if I take something from like an if I take anything from like expanded knowledge to get a power from a different from like a different from like a scion like any kind of other class, then I could network that power and then they wouldn't get a save on it. Die. Like say I take mind control and then network power mind control on someone in my I forcibly add to my collective. They're mind controlled now and they have no say in the matter. Yai. I'm gonna kill you with kindness. They're now my best friend. Is she a best friend powers? Oh no. Not best friend powers. Not best. Well, that would, that would be charm. That would be charm monster, charm person. Not 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 my. So how long are we going to be out here for? Uh, well, we should probably head back to the Oasis, seeing as our companion has awoken. Morning, everyone else. What bu what more business do we have? Uh, I don't know. Well, we've got a chicken quest for Marlon, but uh, and... Marlon's currently in uh, recovery mode and booting himself back up again. And you were also mid-conversation with the Manticore. Yep. Oh. Uh, we just tangented. She introduces herself as Roshia. Roshia, whatever. Roshia. Nice. Well, I'm Bodhi. There are lie, that's Jesse, that's Leora, that's Colia, that's Maya, and that's Voland. And the one over there, uh sleeping to itself is Marlon. You can't see him inside his power armor, but there is totally a guy in there. Not a robot. You hear a faint bacock. Yeah. Uh, was that and... was that Marlum or one of his chickens? You do not know. We'll never know. The we'll visor is down. Are you sure that Marlum's not just a bunch of chickens in a human suit in an armored mm. suit? It could be. Could be. He's a colony of micro chicken. There's actually thousands of them. He's a miniature that giant space learning... chicken. That are learning to cook other chickens. That so they're sense. like a bunch of Hannibal Lecter chickens all working together. Hannibal chickens, son. Huh? Anyways, uh, she had just asked you, uh, uh, who sent you? Hannibal. Uh, the leader did, uh, the Oasis place. Oh, Relua. Yeah. I didn't hurt anyone, did I? There were a few killings, I'm afraid. Uh, oh, oh no. <sighs> that shape-changing... If I ever get by pause on her... Yeah, so what, do you know what she's currently disguising herself as in the village? Because we need to go, you know, kick her ass. I... don't know? Is there... She was one of my, uh, disguised as one of my assistants, oh. and I remember when something went wrong clawing at her, but I'm fairly certain she got away. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know, is there anyone new in the village? Or, or anyone, anyone that went missing and then came back after a journey? Can't say we know that much, just it would have been helpful to know. 
they were, you know, posing as someone important. But... Oh, until we look into it again, I guess. Hmm. So that's all you were doing in this desert? You just came to find me? Uh, I mean, we have other goals, uh, but honestly, we thought we were going to be heading out here and putting down a monster. But now it turns out that we've sort of recovered you and you're a lead into this whole hag matter, which we're trying to, you know, resolve to stop the end of the world. So, yeah, we're going to head back to the Oasis. We'll just leave to the desert again afterwards. Other goals? It's very confusing. This is mostly a... This is a desert. Uh, aside from the archaeology. Yeah, I mean, we found you in one supposedly ancient Tomb of a Dead thing that happens to be occupied by, like, a super dryad and a still totally alive dragon. Well, aside from the archaeological finds, there's very little here. Uh, I mean, it's an archaeological find we're after and something related to chickens. You're after an archaeological find? In a way. Sorta. I'm just here to make money. Which one, if I may ask? Far well, northeast of the desert? You... Something about an ancient sun paladin? You... You mean the sunken city of light? I, I don't know what it's wind? called. <laughs> no Over one here. comes... No one comes back there. The Elvish ambassador sent, uh, went there with a group of warriors and hasn't been seen since. Uh, don't say the E word. It's fine. It's cool. Grumble for a Wait, moment. Wait, didn't we meet the Elvish ambassador? Or are there two? Oh, my. There's only one Elvish ambassador? Tunan? Brown skinned, has a jewel, you know, in the center of her head with the lattice work. Pretty? Huh. Yeah, no, we saw them in town. Uh, yeah. Then why would you? And uh, her uh, f uh, face darkens. We need to get back to town now. Yep, seems so. Yay! So you guys are uh, gonna uh, start uh, making your way downtown. Yeah. Then walking fast. Takes about two days to get back to there. Um, you know, Excellent. eleven units worth of travel. Bowie's like chomping at the bit to just fucking take off and leave everyone in the dust to go fucking pound some bitch in <laughs> for not only being an evil hag but also being disguised as an elf. Does that mean I get to kill something? Wait, when we get there, fucking. Fuck you. you know what? It's gonna look really bad for like the second time in a row for a gargoyle to turn up and start trying to murder an elf. Fuck's sake. Right. We're gonna get so stereotyped. Well, yeah, stereotypes have to start somewhere. <sighs> I'm a little iffy about like the relatively small amount of proof we have. Oh, yeah, no, this but. It's just gonna be this. Uh, Lady sword against the others. Um... You have to spell magic. And I have to be a paladin. I don't know if you noticed. I can. If I actually, you know, kind of figure this person out, I'm pretty sure I can pull it off. Um, also, not sure if you noticed, Freddy, that um, my dispel magic is kind of unreliable. Uh, better than nothing, but, you know, if we actually know what we're looking for, which is a hag disguised as an elven ambassador, then we've got some pretty good odds. Do you have any... any effects of hers? Anything that is uh, hers personally? Like, I um, will hold up a claw. Like that. Yep. Then I can make uh, something to help us well, then fuck yeah. What do you need to produce such a thing? And if you say, I don't know, some kind of magical forge, then I think that there's already one being unpacked in preparation for this very moment. Uh, I can you make literally anything. Uh, you know, uh, some straw, some leaves, a 
um, uh, a twine, a little blood sacrifice. You know, the usual. Yeah, you had me up until the blood sacrifice. Doesn't need to be a person. Can I reach into the void that may or may not be Marlon and pull out a chicken? I'm not sure if Marlon will want you killing one of his chickens. Bob, Bob are, are you in you the chat? Pretty sure he just spontaneously produces them. Bah! Okay. It's got a time delay. Jeez. Uh, and also, no, he's not in the chat anymore. So he's had to go no. and stuff. As we're skipping I want, chicken land. Your, I want to blood sacrifice your cock. Okay. I'm pretty sure you already tried that with your hammer. Well, so we, we can hunt for we can hunt for those bits and some beasties on the way back to the oasis. It can't be hard too hard to find something mm. to fight in like. A two-day journey. Are we you really can do the reverse of random encounters where you hunt them down? Are we going to ever? Are we going to make the twenty-seven tile journey to the apparent sex oasis? Is that real, or did someone just put, that on, just put that on there? Uh, I never put that on there. So. Yeah, okay, so someone, someone just scribbled that on. Yeah, someone sure did write down sex oasis. I don't what, know what you're talking about. Boy, yeah. Chicken Land and the Artifact Ruins are far away. It's a very big desert. Yeah, it would have been quicker for a round journey, but we've got an Oasis return to make. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Fel doesn't have any living objects with her. She, like, rummages through her bag, and she's like, gun, gun, knife, sword, potion, potion, gun, food, and then she'll pause Tantric Magic Dildo. Nope. The manticore flushes hmm. in that. If we dig a hole, I can just dig a hole when we're going to sleep. I could just like plant the umbrella open on top of the hole and just make a little pool for myself to sit in. Seems like a good idea. But wouldn't it actually get real fucking cold at night? So, what exactly are the uh, downsides to this blood sacrifice? Well, you. Be surprised how cold deep water can get. Oh, that's true. You're probably good at that. Now, what do you mean by the downsides? If it's just, you know, we need some living blood from, like, a creature, like some kind of monster we slay on the way, that's not a big deal. Yeah, I guess on the way back to the oasis, we'll see if we can come across some kind of monstrous things or herds of whatever the fuck. Sure. We find a random lizard, I throw a hammer at it. Karate! <laughs> just bang, bean it in the head. <laughs> parkour! <laughs> just <laughs> scream parkour and hit it with a hammer. <laughs> Ray. I'm pretty sure that is how it works, to be fair. You scream parkour, then you jump and do some bullshit, then you're off, then you're cool. Yeah, that's parkour. Yeah. yeah, you just have to scream parkour when you do it, otherwise it won't work. Yep. Also acceptable is... I, yep. my cousin teaches parkour. I'm not exactly sure if I should be insulted or funny. Nah, all I can think of is the Stan literal... fucking Lee. He does parkour, the parkour master. The Lady. only um thing I, uh, it's literally the only reference I know from uh, oh, what's that stupid show called? I, I hated it, but The Office was the par is the parkour bit. Them just running around the office, knocking stuff over, and yelling parkour. There you go. Best part. What a jerk. You're a jerk. What? Oh. That sure is a very, very tiny picture there, Angel. Is that okay? Yeah. Uh, how does one hunt for beasties on a, on a journey? That sounds like a survival check to me. Shit. I'll make an attempt. You're with an archaeologist. Let's see if the archaeologist uh, Pathfinder class gives them that. Uh, Hang on. We're also with a professional monster hunter. I forgot about that, but I'm saying that she might be able to give you advantage. Shit. 
she sure is a uh oh wow look at that okay if this page would ever load 23 and a 24 you say mm -hmm. all right uh and now give me a uh well give me a d8 you're hoping for high Okay. Can we do that or? I got it. Six. Okay. Um. So, good news. Uh, you don't find that the only thing available to hunt are the equivalent of a desert great beast. So you're not fighting the uh sandwormipede broodmother. Oh. Oh god. So, uh, let's see, let's see. I got a gateway timeout on the SRD. Is SRD down again? Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's getting all kinds of fucked up. Various uh, bits of it are going up and down all the time. It's annoying. And they're also shaking them all around. It's very inconvenient. Well, I was going to l use it to look up um, animals by terrain, which I usually do. Um, let me do something real quick. Okay, so we'll look up this and by terrain, and not any environment. I would like them from desert. the dessert. It's all jello. From the so dessert. All jello. Yes. So, uh, tell you what. You will be able to find a herd of wild camels. Can I fucking throw a hammer at it? I mean, you could, but you also have, like, a flying paladin. But I no want to just... throw a hammer at it. Let's just have someone with a gun if they just want to pop it while it's not, you know, paying attention because otherwise that would be pretty hold. fucking mean. Can we do a flyby with Thel and Bowie? <laughs> just, she'll just shoot one from a distance so that, you know, we don't have to go actually, like, charge at a camel and hit it with a hammer. Who said anything about charging? I'm just gonna throw it at it. No. And break a leg and then... Yeah, no, exactly. It's like, I would like it to go down in the one shot. No! <laughs> what do you mean, no? I don't want to break a camel's legs. Jesus. Delicious. Yeah, but, you know, also if you scare an animal that you're trying to eat, then it makes them eat less good. Everyone knows that. I'm debating on whether or not to actually use a dynamic lighting because this is just a nice pre-rendered map and it doesn't really matter for the village anyways hmm. anyways uh so yeah uh you guys can um hunt down uh the camel and your um only be clothed in a uh what's it called a cloak manticore will uh pull out what appears to be a little doll and uh Let's throw a hammer at it. where was she where was that doll kept firing minds must know um clasp betwixt her butt cheeks nice anyways and damn she got a booty like pow she can hide a doll man I mean, she kind of does. Hmm. I, I did, I, I did describe her really early in the session. So, um, yeah. So she's going to, uh, basically, um, rush up while, uh, it, you know, the last few uh, beats of its heart, and then like splash the blood all over it and start incanting. Cool. Can I eat it? Shut up. <laughs> Why, how much coffee did you drink before we started this journey? Coffee? 
Oh, coffee. 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 coffee exists. Can't coffee. Say I've ever, can't say I've ever had coffee. Uh, well, then it's best to avoid it. Oh my god, coffee. Boland on coffee. Nope. His ego would could be felt from orbit. No, it's just uh, you think he talks a lot now. It's just he uh, ends up like uh, Alvin in the Chipmunk speed. Do I do I talk a lot? Uh, when Volan's on a route, on a on a rant, he is he's very fast talking, but only when he's ranting. Yeah, his sales pitch. His when, sales. When, whenever he goes on one of his sales pitch rants, he is well nigh unstoppable. To be fair. He got a big ego boost by the idea that he's possibly the best living smith on this entire continent. Mortal, at least. I totally forgot you guys have Ilya with you. Oh, we do have the scout cat, do we? Yeah, you do. I totally forgot about that. Oh. Well, how does she feel Ilya? about this whole ordeal? Um. Well. Uh, you know, uh, what's her name? I already forgot her name. What is wrong with you? Russia? Uh, Roshia. It was well liked before, uh, she went nuts and killed a bunch of people. Okay, cool. And, um, you know, out of, uh, everyone in the village, uh, Ilya was the one who you guys had, uh, most convinced of the, oops, delete that. Too many people. Had most convinced of uh, of what was going on, cool. you know, with the hags and stuff like that. So yeah. that's why she went with you guys. Yep, and considering we didn't even prompt her, and she was like evil feather bitch, then you know that's that rings good for us. Well, to be fair, if someone turned you into something and was cackling madly as you turned into a horrible monster, you'd remember it too. Yeah. So yeah, Ilya's been here the entire time. She's just been very quiet and out of the way because she's like a level two scout. Yeah, and she was slight, and she was slightly impressed and disturbed by the by the dragon bow. I don't think she went down in there with us, or she might have gotten herself killed like immediately by some kind of miscellaneous trap or scantipede. She would have been killed by like the peas in like one or two bites. She's not high level. So stop writing shit. I don't know what you're talking about. Shut up. Bad ram. You can prove nothing. Okay. Did your thingy work there, Roche? Uh, yes. Um, I have a connection to her now. I, at the very least, uh, uh will be able to. Well, hopefully tear away any um, disguise she has once we get back into the city. Sweet. Uh, then Bodhi will slide, will uh, comically slide her whole hammer into the bag of holding and then pull out the other one for killing ancients. Alright, this one, this is what we need here. Ooh. Doesn't that one, like, mostly work on weird monster things? Can't help but think that the hag is an ancient beast from old times, or an ancient enemy at the very least. Fair enough. Best in swig. Swoosh! That's right, it counts as silver and good. Gives fifty plus fifty damage against ancient evils or just ancient things. So if we ever come across any like Greek mythological beasts, I'll kill them with this as well. Oh, it's that. Yeah. You were there when I handed that to her. Yep. Oh yeah, the Elysian Bronze, my uh, second favorite uh, Pathfinder material. Yep, literally made and in Pathfinder uh, proper, it's literally made by the by the by the Titans, yep. and you know, about as appropriate as it gets. Who 
could use nibbling her, yeah, her uh, gem again. Oh, um, did you want me to give you uh, the monetary value of what um, Sarah gave you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, how much they'll get given in in uh, sweet gemos. Also, what's special about the pink one? Uh, it appears to be a uh, small orb identical to the tantric orb. Ah, she gets her own miniature tantric orb. It's her own orb of booty call. Using this, um, uh, if you like, have it in a room with you, it'll just uh, soak up extra energy for a snack. But other than that, um. You have about, you know, a, a small touch of a dragon sword, so I'd say about 1,500 GP in gems. Sweet. Uh, Ilya, how many HP do you have? This might be eventually become important. If the... Because the the horrible thing about the thing being down is, in all my GM notes, I have, like, links to uh, the basic, uh, what are they called, uh, stat blocks from the SRD, and the SRD is down. Yep. Which means that this might next fight not might, might not be possible, because the hag thing is from there. Ah, that would be... All right, I got this far. Let's see if I can actually open the page now. Okay, I got to a hag, or uh, not hag, I got to the SRD. Yeah. Portions of it are closing and opening again. Yeah. So. <laughs> do, do, do. Okay. Okay, at least that's opening. All right, now let's see. It's because it's like the last Friday of the month, so it's like everyone's getting their fucking games on right now, and they're all in the, the SRD so they can argue about rules with each other. That or it's maintenance. Yeah. Oh wow, never mind. Theory. She's actually a Ranger 6. Oh, what, Ilya? Cool. Yep. She could have actually been useful. Yeah, My bad. bad. That's cool, we had it under control. Whatever. Do rangers get blindness deafness? And I just realized that you guys can't see her HP bar either. Nope. No rangers click it on and click about it again. Did that work? Yep. Yep. Okay. Rangers get sweet so... fuck all in spells until like level 10 or 11. Uh, Hunters the spellcaster ones, and it's also not the druid list. Ilya's a bit uh, skeevy about this whole situation, but um, she will confess that uh, she always trusted, um, you know, other manticores more than elves. But that just might be her. That's cool. We'll place her on top of Rocha's booty. There you go. Who? Ilya? Yeah. Uh, you do man realize manticores aren't Tarek, right? I know, but she's just big. She's got that shelf kind of ass. Not how it is. Womp. <laughs> Thank you, best friend. She has to ride like the kink between butt and tail. Hang on, where's the thing to do this? Uh, here we go. Nice. <laughs> how what? did you do that? Um, you click, you go to the gear, and under controlled by, there's tint color. Ah. Oh. I remember because, uh, Saban once did it as a joke. <laughs> no, no, Kanathis did. Somewhere. For, uh, what's her name? Um, hmm? uh, Thick Elf, what's her name? Uh, Molly. I already oh, forgot her name. Molly. Molly, yeah. Changing the that? color of tokens? Yeah. Where is that? We can't do it. That's uh, a DM thing. 
Okay. Yep. Thank goodness. So I would not trust hey. hordes of players with the ability to randomly fucking turn themselves into color raves. And if you look over here, we have their power couple name, Roshi uh, Roshilia. That's a pretty good. <laughs> Just like Lessie. Oh, they're 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 a couple. Oh. No. No, no. no, they're not. No. no. But it just sort of no, popped her out uh, the way by planting her and like the rage between tail and booty. Yeah, as a joke. Huh. But anyway, she's just gonna flap off to the side and um she's gonna just remain pink for now. Oh. Okay. Or she will chuckle a little bit. And yeah. So, um you you know, you guys have hunted down a camel. She's done her thing. You guys can get all pumped up and ready to take on that very bad, no good uh, hag. So, but it's nighttime now. Nighttime. Oh no. Die. Nighttime fight time. Uh, I'm gonna dig. That's me and Jessica are gonna dig a hole in the ground and fill it with water. I'll buddy you help with that. Should take like oh, just the occasional fistful of like a gravelly sand. Just norm. It and I suppose I would help as well. It's filling but bland. Grumble, grumble, sand. Rationing those brownies. Yep. Well, to be fair, it's like she gets to have. Uh, she still has like the fucking big gem from the dragon, which she's just enjoying like a gobstopper. Oh yes, it's like a jawbreaker. Yeah. Blum, blum, blum. <laughs> Phil does the same, but with a tantric orb. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Pretty sure you'd become a lesser demigod of sex if you ate that. Well, no, it only absorbs, Phil? like, passive energy. Yes? Can you keep your mouth open while you do that? I want to draw it. Okay. Uh, and yeah, she'll uh, leave her mouth open and just do the orb, the orb work with just, her, just the edge of her tongue. Nom, 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 nom. So like that one JoJo gif. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I know which one. I was never a massive yeah. fan of JoJo. I watched some of it, but eh. I have never seen any of it. I'm just starting to get tired of the memes. Yep. You can never get tired of the memes. Yes, you can. They're very, very annoying. The only one I ever liked was To Be Continued. Because people actually have to do video editing for it to be a fun joke. Just shit pictures. And also, Roundabout's a good song. Da, da, Everyone. Da, da, I da, kept, da, da. God, I kept hearing that uh, people hadn't even heard uh, Roundabout before then. I'm like, really? Roundabout? It was a very popular song, people. It was. I grew up with it. Yeah. But also, there are a lot of people who are young, Stray. Ah. Hey, All some right. people Myth. <laughs> Lies. What do you. So, what are you guys doing tonight? Uh, I will ask if Maya can pop that. It counts as rest as long as you're not moving too much, and then Bodhi will just sit like a statue for the night and keep on watch. Yeah, I'll just uh, pop that on everyone so you can choose to sleep or not. Also, it's been a while. All you can like uh, put your health bars to max. Oh, I was three whole hit points off max. I know, right? Yeah. Does my magic umbrella have settings on it, like a like a what's it called like yeah, it's well like the decanter, the decanter of endless water? Um, I thought Dr you literally took the magic umbrella. At, I thought you literally took the decanter of endless water, got an umbrella, and then tipped it over. Basically, I, th I thought that was literally it. That's basically what this magic item is. She has an umbrella hat. And we, so it uh, is the that they are two different things, though. She then, bought that umbrella yes. separately. Then yes. Okay, I'm going to set it to monsoon then. So the fire hose. So <laughs> will watch for a while and look uncomfortable for like running off an entirely other direction because it turns out if you listen to the sound of running water for an entire day's travel, you really need to pee like all the time. <laughs> Why don't you die? Uh, I sleep to that sound all the time. Probably because when you hear it, it's whiteness going in you. 
Mm-hmm. The shirt Lyra is wearing. She's dressed like uh, Shantae. Yeah, I know. It was a joke. It would do that for Corlea. Jingle jangles all over the place. Um, if we... Yeah, if we hit her with that uh, monsoon water bottle, uh, would that count as a morale bonus for us? <laughs> really will accuse you all of being degenerates. Even though she Even. recently got lust blasted and then looked at Fel, who had been uh, lust empowered, and was like, I need to just deal with this thing right now. Hot meat kettle. Yeah. Hurts. It is a, a rare occasion. It's yeah, not... but you know, you you did grab uh, the tentacord. Yeah. Grabbed a booty. Um. Uh, yeah. So Ilya's just going to watch uh, Jesse and Lirlai. A uh, Roshia is going to uh just sit down and start uh drawing calculations in the sand with a stick. Uh, Thor's going to turn it, curl up into a tiny, tiny Thel ball. And uh, probably steal Roshia's heat. Yoink. The, like, curl around Roshia? Yeah. Hmm. You know what? Uh, I'd say Roshia would have to make a check, but then I remembered uh, that thing. Yep. Thel is empowered. So... Yeah, she literally cannot throw uh, uh, enough dice to be able to uh, resist an empowered succubus. Yep. And uh, Voland, um, according to Merzendi, it's only a plus five on your thing, and now that it's... Hmm? What, Merzendi? Assuming you do actually have a um, talent that lets you substitute in, uh, sorry, not talent, a feat that lets you yeah, substitute in your, uh, uh, then yeah, it just increases the DC by five. Well, fuck yeah. But that's that right. is per thing you don't have, yes. Just in case there are multiple requirements for them. No, there's only one requirement. Okay. But yes, I believe as well, though. The rule is per thing that you're missing if you try and do yeah. it. Yeah. Well, then, can I make a thundering earthbreaker? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, hang on, I'm, I'm making sure of something. All right. All right, so, uh, yeah, you need to throw me a roll for it. Clang, clang, clang. Thirty-four. Ah, uh, yeah, that's enough. Found that metal vault. I didn't even have to roll my take fifteen. <sighs> you don't roll or take fifteen. You take fifteen. I have a talent. That I have a uh, feat that lets me take fifteen instead of ten when it comes to shit like uh, when it comes to crafting. Then why bother rolling? You just say that you take fifteen, and then it becomes fifteen plus twenty nine, and you spend an expended extended period of time working on it. Who did you rave up and people? I didn't. I pressed the wrong spell. Oh, okay. I was like, hey, you see, Voland makes something, and you just no. No doing... thunder, no thunder hammer yeah. for you. You just know you get him in like the big toe, and then when he finishes with his hammer, it's all just wonky on one side because he's actually been leaning the entire time. I didn't How... need to hit him anyway. How <laughs> devious! That would not hit a sleeping character. Hmm. Sleepy scar. So I now have a thundering hammer. Cool. Oh. 
Can you actually add thundering to it in one night? Yeah, yeah. he's got the super, with, super uh, forge. With another tool, I can. Fair enough. Master craftsman tools, I can shave time off. Shaving, wow. Hmm. They're just, I, I'm just looking at stuff that, uh, just for like the desert. And there are cool stuff like the desert protector or a desert ranger. Sadly, you guys, um, Ilya is not, I don't want to make her CR7. It's too, she's too high. You're going to say, stay a scout. And all right. Is there anything anyone else gets up to this night? Nope. Odie keeps watch. And Thel wraps herself around a manticore. Leo watches the people burn. Well, three people burn in the puddle. So that makes uh, Leora usually uh, doesn't get herself involved. Oh, okay. Two people burn in a puddle. She's usually dancing around or doing something. She thinks it's funny to watch. Fair enough. I like them. They make silly noises. Okay, how do I add extra damage to this? What do you mean? Thundering adds 2d6, I think, 2d6 sonic? Uh, just make a, a little, like, there's a drop down that says extra damage, right? If you open yeah. the weapons thing, and you can see, like, extra non-crit damage. Put in the, you know, the double square brackets, and the number, the value of this extra sonic damage, and there's the brackets, and then in type, just write sonic. And when you roll your attack, for instance, it says 1d6 and fire. Holy shit, 1d6 and fire is added onto that damage. Or you can do likewise yeah. what I did to the uh, for the Bane feature, since it doesn't always happen. I put that in the weapon notes. Bane. Square brackets. Okay, so it's 1d6 plus 2d6 plus 2d6 Sonic when I'm hitting and when my uh, bu, 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 bu. and it's an extra 2d8 sonic so, so what you're telling me is you spent I don't know how long this stupid game's been going just so you could make a thunder hammer you finally did it well I wasn't thinking it up till now <laughs> yeah Okay, so you can see if it does different damage on crits instead, you can see extra crit damage, and then double square brackets, 1d6. And then it will only turn up if you roll a crit. Like extra crit damage, whatever the fuck that value is going to be, 2d8 even. Hold on. There's a lot that the sheet does doesn't do correctly at all, or does to an unnecessary degree. But the weapon bar is actually built to function like a weapon that can get enchantments put on it. Don't ever look in the macro text bar, because that way lies. It's fine. It's fine. It calls so many different fucking things, and it's all nested squiggle brackets, all nested brackets over and over again. So so terrible to look at. What do I have HTML? Stare into the eye of the HTML abyss. HT Fulu. It's yeah. fine. It's so bad. HTMI more like... So, uh, make sure you um, go ahead and test that uh, macro out, Rem, so you make uh, make sure that it's ready for this next bit. Rem? Yep, I was just adding something. Give him the beans. It's working. Let's see here, crit damage. 46 plus and then sonic 2d8 yeah look you're uh in fact the fact that you rolled a crit was very convenient because then you can see that the crit value also worked 
Nice. Yeah, and I didn't actually read this when I first saw it, but uh, when I read something, DC-14 or a permanent death. Ooh. Can I have this? Yes. A uh, pink manticore wants to join in. He wants to sleep. You want to sleep in my pool? He wants to join I in the fucking slam witch boys. Well, I mean that too, but for now she just like to like sit in your pool. It's not right. very. It's been very hot out. You just see Volan uh, testing his new hammer on sand dunes. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> well, Ilya will slip out of her uh, leather armor and join you guys in the pool. Swing this out of thunder. Her wings will flap happily. Yay. All right. So, um, I believe that was it for tonight, right? Yep. Okie dokie. Um, let me just start grabbing people. Ilya's already on that page. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm just going to put you all on that page and then arrange yourself uh, how you're going to be in there. Do -do. Don't forget little Leora there. Copy. And... I didn't put the dynamic lighting on it because it's just, it'd just be a pain for you guys to see, like, you'll see what I'm talking about when I put you over on this page. Yep. Ah, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, that's cool, that's cool. It's, it's just Volan's hammer is now looking strikingly like Mjolnir. Okay. Um, arrange you guys as you would be Ilya you are what do you use um what you use a okay no I'm just what? gonna let you stay with the longbow because it's one of her weapons is a masterwork battle axe Why? hey wait a minute I recognize oh, no. those manticores when do these you? pirates get here uh they're the guards. They want our ship. Watch the fuck out. Oh, those bitches. Listen. S damn sky pirates. Listen, I have precious few good manticore art that isn't just the same manticore over and over. Different loot positions. Well, I mean, this is, like, everyone likes this one. It's good. It's the best it's one. Good. It is, it's a great one. It's a fantastic manticore. Hey, guys, you take a look at my new hammer. Okay, so, um, are you sure that's the position you guys want to be in? I mean, probably not. Winter. You what? might want to move. You want to be in the front of the group there for what's inevitably going to be some kind of slam down? Sort of behind the squishies. Where are we? Oh my god. Look at oh, the thing. Hey. And what is your HP? Your HP is trash. Wait, so we do wait, we go we know we're we know we're gonna be walking into like we're gonna be picking a fight. Yeah, with a hag. Um very likely uh, picking your, a fight with a hag. Your very large uh angry new compatriot seems hell bent on fighting a hag. Oh, oh. Okay, let me see. Hang on a second. Not happy about what happened. Oh, huh. wow. I'm really ahead of the game. Huh. So, uh, um, look, I understand you want to kick some ass. So, would Roshia and Ilya like to join my collective? Uh, sure. Ilya's down. Okay. What about Roshia so she can request healing on point? 
Also, Psychic Bodyguard might be a really good thing to have up if we're going up against an evil witch person. Um, She'll squint and then uh, look behind her and then ask if that was a part of that collective. Yes. Yes. Doofy Grand. I'll tell you what, Fel has another power that she'd happily offer Roshia, but it would be some kind of succubus gift. I don't know how how, how much she's down for it. Mm, she's fine for now. You sure? Could be a profane uh, gift. I'm going to just chop off 18 power points oh. and cast Psychic Bodyguard on like the whole party. Thank you. I don't, it's only good for one save. I don't know what that does, but okay. I'm fairly certain that it allows Lirali to make the will save instead of you, and Lirali's will save is bonkers. It is. It is. Uh, whereas all of us are shit. I think mine's pretty good. I'm also a primary caster. Alright, yeah. Uh, let's see here. My will is a 10. It's pretty good, but I've also get to lean on being immune to different effects. That would really help if I could get, actually get network power for that's power, because that's not one that's just by default, and that would be way cheaper to spend power points on if I could just Make network that network one. Psychic bodyguard. Yeah. No kidding. If you would like to save your points, I guess you can avoid putting it on me and Merz since we have actually reasonably okay will saves. Are you okay by that? Yeah. Yeah. And also, uh, doesn't Bodhi like, have an aura of. Plus four, it's, save. it's only for 10 feet. Uh, she does have an aura, uh... though, that's the 30, the 30 cast when she nimbuses. But she, you know, isn't going to, like, walk into the room already glowing with divine light that's gonna it's gonna you know what she's you know it's not gonna look good watch it oh this is not a race thing uh Bodhi, voland and corlia yeah. yes mm -hmm. plus first rank nope yay Maya, you can have plus four charisma. What type of bonus is this? Enhancement bonus. Okay. It's only a net plus two for me, but you know, mm. it's still improvement. So, is everyone buffed up? Um. Yeah? Almost. <laughs> Almost, oh my. I'm, I'm just loving this image of like everyone's buff, and they just have this tiny little hole in that's wielding the giant hammer that's buffer than everyone. Hey, I'll be honest, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to uh, Roshia's uh, thing in this next combat because it is my favorite slash most useless um, stat block of all time. I like the sound of that. It is it's literally the best, and then uh, afterwards I'll share it all with you. It's just so much fun. Okay. I could go in either direction, I like it. Maya, Rosia, Ilya, Corlia, Bodhi, and Volan. Yeah. Can have plus can have a fifteen HP damage shield. 15 HP? Yes. Thank you. But we're so fucking ready. Uh, I think I'm going to save the rest of my rest of my power. It was it was a good maneuver. Let us bring the hammer to our enemies. Okay. 
Uh, you guys good? Yep. Yep. All right. So, uh, you guys return to the village, and like, uh, when you uh, upon your approach, like people are just kind of wide-eyed and whispering as the, you know, the very noticeable shape of a, uh, you know, a huge manticore strides through the village with you. And nothing and, but a cape. Sorry. Yeah. Really. Uh, well, to be fair, they all wear like uh, what, um, uh, like Shantae clothes here, so it's not too far of a step, but it is a step. And like you can even see what they wear around here if I just make this bigger. Yeah, they 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 are uh full robes actually. Ah, uh, there's there's plenty of skin. It's fine. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and so. Uh, she will very angrily burst into uh, the chief's, the chief of the village's, uh, ha you know, uh, well, this is less of a house and more of a meeting room. And uh, Tunan will start sputtering about, you know, she'll start sputtering. They brought back the uh, uh, the traitor, the murderer, the, and then uh, before she's able to uh, go too far, Roche just snaps at her. Uh, enough, and we'll pull out a knife and then drive it into the uh, uh, into the doll that she produces out of nowhere again. <laughs> well, it's out of somewhere. And yeah. as she does so, uh, Tunan screams. The uh, uh, all of the oh, why? Did, why did none of you have health? I'm annoyed. All of the uh, what are they called? Gods. Um, Manticore guards. There we go. Everything's fine now. Ooh. Now all I need to do is copy. I always and, do that myself. I'm uh, like, oh fuck, I'm just gonna repaste everyone. It's quicker than literally enabling everyone's fucking details. There we go. Yeah. Uh, doubles over in pain, and her skin begins to. Uh, form great cracks and lines into it, and flesh begins to fall off of her form in great clumps. Ralu uh, jumps uh, off of her throne and begins to uh, shout, but before she's able to go too far, she freezes completely in place. Um, and the guards all kind of stand there, and their eyes glaze over as... Plump. And... Womp. A boop. It's a blue non hag. The um horrible form of a blood hag uh, steps forward. Uh she would be pretty if it not for her sharp teeth and nails and ghastly pale skin. So she's a Left for Dead witch. That's probably not a far off appearance. Bit feathery, but... Alright. Oops, what happened to the Manta Guards? You deleted them at random for some strange reason. I don't remember doing that, but I'll believe I did it. Yeah, you just said bloop and bloop and then she appeared. I must... Oh yeah, I tried to delete... delete. I tried to delete Tunan to get the blood hag. I must have uh, still been clicked on the other guys. Remember to click on your token and then click on the thing. Yep. Guess who's... How do you have the running man thing on your initiative? Uh, I, They just have icons for different ability types. How do you do if that? you open the character sheet and uh, press settings at the top, and uh, you can um, go what down is, to your header is, image. What does it say settings? Very top right next to uh, your character name and uh, where it you know has a big Pathfinder logo. It says mode, recalc, then settings and then okay, character yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now how do I do that? Click settings. Okay, now what? Scroll down, Scroll down and you see lots of little pictures. Yeah. Click the little dot next to all the pictures. Make sure they're all there for default. Mm 
And you too can ninja run when you use initiative. Oh, that's cool. There are all sorts of little icons, including ones for attacks and skills really? and skills and blah. Really? Yay! <laughs> really? Yay! Guess who wants to bring the hammer? Uh, <laughs> really? Plus ten rolls a two. Still gets to go before Bodhi grumble. Bodhi is a slow. Don't. Well, this is what yeah, happens when I have plus zero initiative. Well, yeah. I'm and getting him. Of course, Roshi rolls a 21 Master with Roshi. only a plus 3 initiative. It wouldn't be a bad idea for Crawlia to get improved initiative. That might be an such a valuable feat slot to just eat up on going a bit quicker. It's four, It's a plus 4 to for your initiative. It's sure, especially you for... It's a, but it's a, really she's a barbarian. It's so important to use those feats on like making your weapons weaponier, otherwise you just become wank. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> As it is, I'm not doing, uh, I, I've kind of been grabbing feats all over the place, so I'm, I'm pretty unoptimized here. To Being be fair, in Pathfinder is boring. Yeah. yeah. You, there is a way to easily optimize, but after a while, that gets kind of boring, because I know most of the optimization paths, after a while, for mages. It becomes immediately what? boring. There's no after a while about it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I know all the optimization paths for a generic fighter. I know all the optimization paths for a generic wizard. Voland is good for one thing and one thing only. One big smash. By normal Pathfinder terms, that's unoptimal. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I like ones that let me do things. For instance, getting more mercies. Uh, combat reflexes for more bonking. And quick draw, because holy shit, quick draw. Right. So, um, let's see how far this goes. We are here to denounce you in all your evil ways. I'm for you to get cucked, son. See this? It's going right up your ass. Also, I've got a uh, friend slash fellow dev who uh, dressed up as hard gay to be on a video call for a conference. That's awesome. Have you not seen Razor Lemon Ramon? Hard gay? Hard gay. Right. No. Uh, you're missing the fuck out then. Is it literally yeah. called Hard Gay? His name is Hard Gay. Uh, Japanese. Uh, oh my. Razor Ramon Hard Gay. If you look it up, you'll Oh look it up. my. I, I do not regret looking this up because this is fucking. He's a fantastic, fantastic comedian slash professional wrestler. So. Leather's not Rush. dead. Leather's not Roshi is. Stop it! Roshi is going to. Uh... Roar in fury, leap out into the air, reach down to her um, belt, and whip out a whip. Nice. <laughs> Here I was hoping for a Glock. Cut down. It wouldn't be a Glock. <laughs> right. She fucking um, Glock 9mm. <laughs> she oh. fucking blaps her in the face a bunch. Ah, uh, and she could have even done it in since she hadn't gone yet, she could have gotten her sneak attack with a whip. Does that oh, well. blood hag have a huge touch? Uh, the blood hag had a whip touch. Does touch? Well, no, more like she hasn't gone yet. She's flat footed. Flat foot. It's different. Flat footed, right? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh oh, flat footed. Sixteen. Aha! Woo! So, uh, first we do. <laughs> Um, the you know how how great damage a whip does in Pathfinder. One d four, right? Oh, oh, you wish it was one d four. You wish she does three damage. damage. Whoa, maximum. And then, uh, she does. Eleven. 
such neat. And um, wait a second, her right, stat blocks so Indiana that... Jones, isn't it? <laughs> oh damn it! Does she have a fedora quick draw? Uh, it's a pity all of her items got burned up when she tra uh, when she uh, half insane tried to heal herself. And well, I say tried, she did. So, um, this takes 14 damage, which is really 9. Wait, what? Oops. What you done? Oh my god, that whip is incredible. What? A straight misclick can put her health as the damage that she took, I imagine. <laughs> I did. I've done many a time before. Missing that negative numerate and just changing the value completely. Don't worry, my hammer will fix that. Will it, though? Maybe. Bulland! Uh, with Valiant Incoherent screaming, um, I think I'm just gonna run up to her and smack a bitch. Nope. I'm gonna be so annoyed if she dies before I'm able to do anything with her. God, there's a lot of people going before her. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, not a lot, actually. Two more player characters after uh, Voland. The other two yeah, smashes of uh, me and Corlia go after. Voland does hit hard if he crits. All right, and it is cold iron, so it is not reduced. Did she even actually take the base damage of the whip? Oh, she did. Okay. That's a good I'd hit. say that was a sizable chunk of damage. Yeah. All right, and... The Manta Guard leaps into the fray! Her eyes are glazed over and she pounces on Voland! Actually, she's gonna pounce on Voland right here. For no apparent reason. <laughs> For no reason. So, um. I need to look up what this does. Do I get an attack of opportunity? Either you or Roshi are doing. Depending on the, the route by which she enters into that space. And Roshia would get one either way. Oh, that's true. I should really consider investing in Whirlwind Attack. Yeah. Great. Great. What? Uh, Roshia, really... Roshia gets an OP on that Manta Guard, and unless she goes around, then Volan would get one too. But presumably she just takes two diagonals instead. Nah, she uh, leapt up in the air with her wings. Oh, right, yeah, flying. Still, yep. Roshia's got like 15 foot reach, so I think she can still give her a bap for flying into the into the whip zone. Not that it'll do any, it'll do three damage at best, but you know. It does no damage. Oh. And now, uh, this step block is actually decent. What was the 16 for? That 30 against your AC. Ooh. Aye, that hits. Cool. Uh... Although the damage is, you know, not great. 11 damage. This is a magical weapon she is using. So if you have DR that, uh, if you have DR magic or, um, uh, uh, what's it called? The, the Manta Guards uh, all have, uh, like, plus three weapons. Fuck. So 
So I think that actually should be a 14. Right? I think uh, plus one weapons add damage to it, they right? They add one to damage attack and two attack. Attack and damage. Attack. Yep. So that'd be 14. I can't remember uh, which uh, just place uh, base uh, magic weapon plus it is to ignore uh, DR. Uh, it depends on the type of DR. Um, I can't remember the graph. And We're just going to call it DR3. Sure. Unless someone can look it up. I imagine the ASRD is being a shitter. I know the graph you're talking about, and I used to know how to find it, but I can't be bothered right now. Yeah, fuck it. Three sounds good. It's probably better than it is, but whatever. I just one to overcome. Not a big deal. That requires five. Uh, uh, Anyways, uh, Ilya, uh, Ilya, Scout, you have a plus one composite logbow. Oh shit, Adamantine's only plus four. Hmm? I mean, oh, only be... plus four. A plus four weapon? Are you kidding? It's very interesting. Pretty sure I can make one. Probably. 19 does not hit a swing and a miss. She pouts. Clear lie. Cannot this no. Mm. Okay, so only overcomes uh, cold iron silver. Yeah. Well. My buffs are still. No one's lost their damage. I'll preserve my power point. So, what's wrong with her right now? Stun, frozen, or held, or one of those. Who? Ralu? Ralu. Ralu is held. She just wants someone she... to hold her. She is uh, too high a level to be mind controlled like the meta guards. She's just too high. She's too strong. She's so high. Pretty sh I'm pretty sure Rala would like us more if we managed to kill the hag without killing her guards. Yes. Yeah, yeah I don't intend to hit a manta guard here. I intend to slay a hag. If you defeat the boss, the ads will disappear. Yeah, well, the whip is non-lethal, so you can't li you can't kill someone with the whip. Unless you have the deadly trait. So, um, you're just gonna hold for now, Kanathis. Nothing to report. Not gonna make people. Big. Uh, no. Okay. Instead, I will dance. Hooray! Squidly dance. Squidly dance. I will. Oh, I will. Wait! 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 You have an wait. icon for this. Wait. 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 Uh, we are back, uh, Lirali. Kisses you on the cheek and clop, 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 clop. Hides behind Roshia. Oh, where are you going, Jesse? Oh, okay. Stay safe. Stay safe. And, and he grumps at the blood hag, and she has to make Girl. a will save. Make me a will save, hag. Defense, your will is oh my god, it's a big one, isn't it? Also, yeah, oh, there. <laughs> Meh. there's also I think better. She probably has spell resistance. Maybe the lyric kid should use her once per week commune to just ask six nonsense <laughs> questions to the ether. I, I was about to say, didn't the last hag have DR? Yeah, but you just hit her with a cold iron silvered weapon. Yep. Oh, yeah. Remember, um, hags, weak against cold iron. Yep. And I'm pretty sure a giant lump of cold iron on a stick, as primitive as it is, is a pretty damn good weapon. Mm -hmm. Alright, what's this Manta Guard gonna do? Um... You know what? She's going to make sure that uh, the big beefy centaur can't uh, go into range of the mistress. Gonna gonna keep the the blood hag directs her to keep the lady with the very large sword away. Oh, so 
There's a bunch of very large things about Cordelia, and you've specified the sword. Halberd. <laughs> yeah, it's a halberd right now. Okay, the halberd. She doesn't want the halberd anywhere near her. It's dripping uh, acid and kind of burning holes into the sandstone. Not the lady of the giant titties! Stay back, titty beast. I'll be fine. I don't want to be marshmallow hell. Okay, uh... You take 16 damage! That's a good modifier right there. Yee! I, I, I learned, guys. Yep. Kind of. You're still gonna mop the floor with them, but at the very least, I didn't get. At the very least, I gave it my college try. You know, the old college try. Contempt was made. Well, because you know, you. To be fair, uh, she didn't have time to build up a bunch of defenses because she didn't expect Roshia to be able to save herself. So I think that was that meant to guard Thel. Hmm. Let's see. So let's all take a moment to see how much 16 damage actually did to Corlea. If you zoom in as much as possible, you can oh. see a little sliver. She had a, no, she took one damage. She had a health shield on. Oh, well. Even so. so, yeah, that was one. That was I, one damage. But I'm saying, look, look, you, you can't. I didn't even notice it at first. Oh my god, 109 hit points. Go away. Oh, wait. I forgot to include my DR in that. That was. So they got plus no three damage. weapons. Yeah, oh, no. they have plus three weapons. But... Fail. Flaps over here, and that target is still flat-footed, so she doesn't even need to worry about her hunter ability, but she, get, she gets to do that for free if she's making a sneak attack against someone anyway. So... First I hit this button. Where have you gone? Doop! Uh... Just do Plus two on attack and damage against the the Maggie, and she will use the uh, uh, cold iron bullets. Oh yeah, bang! I'm gonna make you a gun. Seventeen for damage. Uh, Nineteen for that much, and I imagine twelve ain't gonna. So no, but uh, how much is seven plus six? fifteen? Gotcha. Fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, is she in point blank? She might be. No, one out of it. I guess it's neat. The point blank is. It's a very large room. It's I the know. biggest building in the city. Yep, that's her turn. And they're also meant to accommodate the. Uh, if you, if if you notice, girls. some manticores can become very large. Yep. You haven't asked them how. Blood hag, you're gonna look around. You're going to see that this is, uh, you know, getting getting kind of hairy for you. And so you are going to step forward and turn into a ball of fire. That seems not cool. Step forward where? Into your square. I fell in. And now you will take a... 3d6 damage, and you need to make me a reflex save. Reflex, you say? Reflex, yes. So, you take half of 17. Eight. Eight. And uh, uh. seeing that, uh, nope, nope, she's just going to continue doing that. All right. So that's the blood hex turn. She's just going to do a cheeky little thing. Let's see if she can do that cheeky little thing. Um, What's it to do this? Fortitude, you say. Hmm. Four to six, so not that great. 
but we'll find out. Okay, it was pretty great. And... Level are you? You are level. And... You guys don't see what's going on because she's an orb of fire right now. But it does look like that that is a healthier orb of fire. Mm-mm. Because it's me the other day how uh, that fire will get thick. Yep. And this Manta Guard is going to step forward and start banging on Rem because, you know, he kind of charged in all alone. Don't worry. The, the rest of us will catch up to the matter soon. Yeah. Don't worry. And Corlea is just so much bigger than this Manta Guard. So, let's see. What was your thing? Your thing is plus. How tall are they? <laughs> They're medium height. But does Bruno uh, Mars is gay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I could find that article right now. 34 against Voland, I assume. I that it's, it's... Yep. Seventeen Demagi. Wow, I really like seventeen. It's a good number. They're good numbers, Brent. And just so you guys can see Vol and Bar, so it's not confusing, I'm just going to put it right here. Yeah, she's a spooky uh, she's, old. Okay. Yeah, but she's in his square. Sweet. Maya, there's a fire. The lady is a fireball now. She is. Um, if you'd like to hold for the magic missile, I'll now. be boosting it up and my turn rolls around, and then you can blast her for better hurt. Say again, sorry, I missed the first bit of that. Uh, if you want to hold your magic missile or just like say when she does this thing I cast, then you can use a boosted one for more damage. Uh, what's the range on your Nimbus? 30, you are in it where you are, I checked. Okay. Yeah, voice um, right? Pardon? I don't know, just... Ice magic, maybe? Or, I don't know, what, what the hell's it called in this game? Cold, right? Cold magic. Yeah, actually, Yeah, let's say, if he's anything like a fire elemental, that ought to do the trick. Hmm. And... Shit. Given the type of spell it is, it wouldn't be affected by spell resistance. So yeah, I'm gonna move here, using the same square as Voland, and... That was too meta. What's the ability called? Oh yeah, blood intensity. Um... Oh, that should be considerably more than plus. Oh, no, no, it's charisma mod. Uh, so this is going to, if it hits, deal an extra 3d6 cold damage. Nice! Uh, 19 versus touch. 19 versus touch, you say. Where is no touch, you see? Um, oh, yeah, it hits. Uh, for 24 cold damage. <sighs> the little orb must make a fort save or be staggered. Nope. That's not how that works. But, taking 20 points of cold damage will turn her back into her normal form. Wait, what? Hooray! That was a good suggestion, Ram. Yeah, thanks. Just in I, time for the bodying. I know it was a good it's suggestion, but I feel bad for, for meta-ing. Well, uh, yeah, but what are you going to do about it? Uh, I feel terrible now. Yeah. Or I mean, it's totally reasonable to shout, do you have a thing that shoots cold she's turned fire? 
What do you mean meta? Uh, so, no, no, it's just he knew uh, how it worked when you're fighting, because that's how you fight uh, Fire Elemental. Yeah. yeah. And my DM used to love throwing elementals at us, so I kind of had to get used to knowing the elemental rock, paper, scissors. I mean, cold against fire, that's literally just common sense. Yeah, but you weren't here. going to do it otherwise. Either way, my cool trick is gone. Do your thing. Okay, so swift action, lay on hands. Uh, and then I activate smite evil for the blood hag. Just a wall of fucking cards. Uh, and then I'm going to charge the shit out of her. Everyone who was within 30 of me, which is everyone in the party, except for, sadly, Voland, uh, all get those Holy Nimbus bonuses, so... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Plus one to attacks, damage, and saves, so long as you, you stay in the light. Oh, no, it's a constant, actually. So you just get back in the fun zone. I'll give myself a little aura. Uh, and then charge this bitch. Well, no. I'll do it from this space instead so I don't go through, like, getting slapped at by Manta Guards. And then comes the Smashy. That's a uh, 29. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Goes to the oh. thirty even, and it does uh nineteen damage on the initial hit. Does she count for the plus fifty damage? Uh, hang on. And um, what is your weapon made out of? Uh, silver and good. Uh, oh, okay. Fifty percent. Um. Uh, however, DR. it will auto bypass its dr because I'm smiting evil. Okay, and uh, what's the 52% damage for again? Uh, for killing ancient evil things. Uh, no, she's not ancient. Okay. So it is still 19. Which is pretty good. Ow. 19, bang, right in the schnoz. Man, she had a really cool ability she was going to do too. I'm sure. You guys are jerks. And, eh. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to bother beaning her. Come on then, hit me. That doesn't even hit you, does it? Uh, I charged, but my AC went back up. Let's see here. Yeah, no, it does not come close. Well, I say it doesn't come close. It's Right now it is 24 AC. Gralia! Yup. Well, this guy's right here. Don't hit her, she's innocent. <laughs> Oh. They're just mind controlled. Go go hit the evil blood hag. Okay, kitty whip her out of the way. Him? Not not sure. Them. I could do overrun, but then it hit uh that hit Bodhi too. Uh it doesn't have to hit me. You can go in that direction instead and your weapon has reach, you just stop and then hit her there. Sure, okay. I can just charge then. If wait, you no, overrun wait, no. them, you're going to be hitting them with horse sausage. Yeah, if you overrun her, the Manta God, she might take a horse sausage in the face, but, you know, small wounds, little victories. Yeah. Even in her mind-controlled state, she just gives, uh, uses all of her mental faculties to give a thumbs up. Mm. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna... Overrun dick slap. Now, is Overrun part of a charge, or...? Correct. Okay. Basically, if you wanted to do it, yeah. You'd need to charge in, like, one line, stop, and then, eh. Yep. Which you can do. Right. And now that Manta Guard needs to make a save to avoid getting proned by uh, Corlea's penis. Yep. Oh, wait, no, it says, is it CMD or CMB instead, actually? I forget the Pathfinder uh, is no, bad. No, I don't, I don't want it. I don't want it. Why isn't this 5th edition? Mm, not, not, what's CMD? This isn't a grapple. 
It isn't okay. a grapple, but it's a tra it's a trip attempt effectively when you do overrun, so there is a role for that. Uh hey Winter, you should probably see if you beat it regardless, because you might just fluff the CMD. C and B even. So that's probably gonna succeed. Yeah, the CMD is twenty. So um uh she now has the uh, let's see. What's a good face for this? She now has the uh, nah, it's improved that's, that's overrun. Do again. What does what? Sorry. Improved overrun. That's what I got. Uh, improved overrun. Just right. mushroom stamp the innocent guard. Was that Rem? Congratulations. He just mushroom stamped an innocent guard. It's that you don't get uh, oppied when you improved overrun, and you actually get a plus two mm. to uh, overrun people, and plus two to defend yourself against being overrun. Targets of your overrun may not choose to avoid you, so they also can't just, like, skip the test. Uh, they have to get knocked the fuck over, or, you know, like, try not to be. <laughs> so that's a 25. Yep. Yeah, she can't offer you as you do it, which is what overrun usually still happens. Yeah, there are a bunch of overrun things. Uh, in a game I ran back in the day, uh, there was uh, a Ponyta uh, yeah. Samurai Cavalier thing. Oh, it was a Samurai uh, who had all the overrun powers and so would just charge through people all the time. In fact, it's the person in my Twitch charge. channel schedule section. Okay, so All right. So it's just the first one. Um all right. So uh your weapon All right. So DR does count in this. So she takes 14 damage. As you stab her in the face, you fall. What link? I'm popular. And Roshi, can you kill steel? With a whip. Uh, well, if you remember, uh, that's not the only thing India Indy has. She oh, will pull out. Well, she'll pull out a hand crossbow. Oh, <laughs> this just actually just pulls out a roller. I'm like, oh well, I guess they do exist. Just oh, my macro is broken. Uh, my that should have plus seven. That should have seven more damage on it. It's apparently oh. been broken this whole time. That's why I've been low. That's why I've been so low on damage. Huh. What's broken? His my macro. my macro. It had a plus right. in it where there shouldn't have been. All right. Uh, I forget how sneak attack works in this game. Is it if it allies adjacent to them and in combat? Nope. There, are, uh, there are some times that they do that, but normal sneak attack is actually if the enemy is if the enemy is flanked, you get sneak attack, but you need a you, but you need a feat to do it at range. Doesn't matter anyway. Sheep misses. Bulland. Bill gets around that sneak attack rule by getting sneak attack damage on people that she has hunt. Uh. Hunter knowledge against, which she did for free. Because they already would have given a sneak attack. It's a nice little cycle. Just makes her slightly less shit. And... 29. And she goes past her con modifier, and you cape her head. Bang. So I bloody the blood hag. Well, she tried. It, it, there was a thing she could have done. It was a 30 foot detonate that did 8d6 plus 10 fire damage. Fuck. I was, I was, and she had deep slumber as well. I'm sorry, Stray. Also, also uh, this is Roshi's stat block. Literally archaeologist. Yep. So good. 
<laughs> the negative damage is great. Hey, she tries. She's got little noodle arms. I got a big head and little arms. So, um, with yeah, that done, the plan was thought through. The um, meta guards all like blink away the fog around their minds and just kind of what, uh, huh? And whoop, take that off. And let's put this chick over here. Tremble in the glory of my new and improved hammer. Now, just how into it was the was the Manta Guard I cock slapped? <laughs> I... Stands up, rubbing pre off her face. Like, why am I sticky? I... That is never a great question. Why am I sticky? <laughs> You're right, that's a really concerning one. Let me let me do a cheeky little roll here. <laughs> All right. Um, where's a print? Where's a print screen function on this? I'll print screen if you don't believe me. But I GM rolled to see uh, how into it she was. It it was a four. Oh, is that good? Hey, wait, I can. Good, good. Hang on. Can I pull it off? See? I can pull it off. See? It was a four. Yeah. Neat. So apparently getting... So she wants it now. She wants the bag. So apparently uh, getting cock slap is now her thing. Help, I didn't know I was into it. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at Raleigh. Alright, killed the hag. Uh, I found... Roshia. Who isn't crazy anymore? Everyone can see that the hag is now defeated and dead. Yep. It's all thanks to this. It is a very big hammer, and you did a lot of smashy to her. Good job. I call the Thunderbird. It's a it's a Wolfwork special. You can, you can get this yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please, time to place my sales pitch. All right. So, um, yeah. Um, I assume that uh, rather than uh, go through all of the stuff that we've already gone through, you're just going to tell Ralu what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Rather yeah. than uh, like role playing out Bad literally all skip. the things we, all, all, everything we just talked about. So da, 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 da. you bring you bring Ralu up to speed, and uh, she is very concerned. Because not only have you just proven that uh, the hags are indeed a threat, they have replaced the elven ambassador who disappeared in uh, the Temple of the Sun, and she's also the only one who can get you guys inside the elven city. So you're saying we're going to have to go grab those elves from the city ruined sun thing? Yeah, my guess is the hag sent you there to die. Yeah, that seems likely. Don't worry, the easiest way to avoid a trap is to bumble into it with knowledge of it anyway. Uh, I guess we're headed back Don't out worry. then. See you later. Okay. Don't worry, we can, stumble into, we can stumble into death traps many, many times. I've gotten nearly killed multiple times. I'm slowly beginning to build up an immunity. The yeah. ambassador was a champion of the sun and was she a master uh, of karate and friendship to everyone <laughs> yeah. Shh, let me finish and well she gifted this to our uh, village a while ago provided the hag didn't swap it and replace it and she'll go over to her throne and well if Bodhi could turn her little light off for a minute yeah sure she will uh well, it was just asked you like, huh? Oh, right, divine eminence. Uh, um, uh, uh, there we go. I'm also gonna root around the blood hag. Rummage, rummage, rummage. Evil bitch. Let's find out what you got. All right. Um, let me look up real quick. What did you have on you, blood hag? Why are you so hack like blood hag? 
Ah, she didn't even get to use her blood drain. <laughs> so sad. Fine. I mean, I've got powers I never use too, like any of Fel's actual succubus powers. No, but you know. Yeah, I know. you know what it's like in being a DM, never getting to use your special things. Yeah, yeah. You know it more than anyone. All I'm right, just by uh... sheer number of things that I run. We all know yeah. the experience equally. Uh, she has a small pouch of 23 silver. She has a magic dagger. And she, her robes were quite magic. Hmm, I guess I'll, like, roll up the dagger and robes for Maya to take a peek at, because they're probably more in her ex-hag speed anyway. Um, MGE. Monster Girl Encyclopedia. Pretty much, yeah. I uh, want me gotcha. to do that now. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I guess I had to hand those over. And so uh, Ralu will walk over here, and uh, she'll uh, step up onto her throne, and from the little divot at the very top that you guys can see, she will pull out a little necklace with a small pendant of a sun with a face on it. Is the face happy or sad? Um... You know what? It kind of looks something like... Where is this? Um... Man. If this would ever open. It kind of looks a little something like the one on this guy. Okay, cool. I was hoping so. <laughs> uh, are we supposed to praise that? I get a feeling I should praise it. Brody will hump. I only praise one religious deity at a time. But just look at it. Can you can you feel it? Nope. You will hump. It's weird. Nope. Not particularly religious, but hump. Insinuating I would praise other gods. Disc. Yeah, and I will. Uh, I will look the pendant over though. Does it? Does it feel like a legitimate holy icon? I figure if it's been tampered with, I'd know. Uh, no. This is a legitimate holy icon. Um, it is uh, the icon of uh, what's her name? Hang on, let me. I have a really big pantheon. Yep. I um, Talia Vulage, the goddess of the stars, cosmos, and travelers far from home. But because she's a goddess of the stars, suns are included. Yep. Yeah, well, uh, I'll confirm to Riley that this is this this one is the real deal. Although I'm not one of uh, the largest followers. Uh, hey, Maya. Yeah. You carry this in case we need it. And I will uh pass through the medallion as well. Okay. I had it off to Verland, oh, but sometimes he turns into a puppy. I'm so annoyed too, cause her AC was really high because of the item she was wearing. And you guys just kept getting like twenty six and thirties. Look, well, sometimes, sometimes, like uh, sometimes you'll get a fat lot of good out of some rolls, and sometimes you'll just roll yeah. all like fucking eighteen plus, and I, everything's great. Yeah, I, I'm not too upset about it. It's just, it, it, it's just the way it goes. It's a regular occurrence. So, uh, yeah, now you have the Pendant of the Sun. Ralu tells you that uh, this might actually uh, help you traverse uh, the area. The, um, pre the ambassador had one of her own. There are only two known in existence, and one was gifted to their village. Oh, well, very appreciated. She, she would, would like you to return it after you're done. 
Of course. So and also that, one what, moment. If you're the ambassador or Hmm? Sorry, Violet. Sorry, Violet. Um I don't really know Hag, so did that thing kill the ambassador or Don't fucking know. No. They I... probably kidnapped her to try to turn her into a dark elf. Uh, Roshi will speak up. No, she went to the sunken temple. I only knew that because I was, well, in the city when she left. Well, yeah, but if the other, if this hag sent us her, then honestly, that sounds like where their camp is. Well, well, hopefully not. She did bring a lot of sun knights with her. Well, I don't know where to find out. Let's go over there and kick some ass. Also, and then I will reach out and uh, boop Raru on the nose with a lay on hands, just in case she's haunted. Yay! She was a little haunted. Just a little. Just go haunted. It will also, it'll also heal some lust damage that she might have taken by being anywhere in the same room as thou. I mean... <laughs> Literally, I picked a mercy for just healing lust damage as well. Because let's face it, it was gonna be need. It's gonna be needed, isn't it? I mean, so you picked the mercy of cold shower. Uh, I believe it's got a name close to that. Mercy of cooled ardors. You know, I know that we're supposed to be using those rules in this game, but very seldom do they ever come up, unfortunately. Let's face it's it. It's like they we fight people very rarely. Yeah, uh, like let's face it. And if we did come to that, Bell could solo that encounter because she has the spell Word of Orgy. Let's see here where it's at. Bam! Word of Orgy, and she can also deal 150 uh, lust damage. Sorry, 120 lust damage. All right, so um, you now have the Pendant of the Sun, and you've got a couple of magic key items. Yeah, is anyone going to help me identify those? Sure. I'd love to, but I can. Okay, right, so you'll succeed in assisting, and I'll... Uh... Wow, well, apparently I'm not really good at identifying robes. Um, uh, let's see if I... Who the hell is... No, go away. Hmm? What? Is he pressing skill buttons? I needed to look at something. Oh, you're clicking in a sheet. Where'd I go? What do you mean, where'd you go? Oh, you, you've gone off to go fuck, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're all the way in another room, having some fuck with Lalu. I see. Um, 20 on which one? Uh, that was robes first and then dagger. Okay, so, uh, robes first and then dagger, so 13 and then 20? No, 14 and then 20. Lerali was assisting. Oh, okay. So, uh, you still don't know what the robes do. The dagger is a... what's this magical ability called? Hang on. I It's right on the tip of my tongue. Uh, uh, it's a plus one dagger of... Not Frenzy. Magic 
items. Magic weapons. Um, it's bewildering. There we go. This is a dagger, a magic dagger of bewildering. Three times a day, the wielder of the bewildering weapon makes a successful attack with this weapon. In addition to the weapon's normal damage, the wielder can inflict the confused condition on that enemy for 1d6 rounds. The tar the target can attempt a DC 17 will saving throw at each round to end this effect. Fun. Yeah, that is pretty neat. Who, who would like? Uh, that seems like a good backup weapon for Thel. I suppose so. Uh, her other melee weapon right now is a cold iron great axe that she borrowed. Oh, yeah, she actually. Oh, I mean, she has a plus one rapier, so yeah, I guess. Uh, what's the uh, magic level on this dagger? Sorry, plus one. Plus one. Um, if you would, if you're okay with that. Otherwise, I mean, it's also a perfectly good backup weapon for for Maya. I'm gonna be honest. If we're in a situation where I am using a melee weapon, I'm dead. Well, I mean, just having a sharp thing to hold in your hand is useful. Like cutting up bonds and blah blah blah. But the thing blah. is, my hands themselves are sharp. I have that. I have oh, right. like, You've got the claw improved feature. natural weapons. Yeah, my name. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, claws. Accept it. I could have remembered the word bewildering. I was just looking at that weapon enchantment earlier today. Who are you now? Yeah. One where you can... When you hit a guy, you can cast confusion on them. Ye. 1d4, not 10d4. Jesus. It's a good niff, Brint. Just swing. Certain robes are still out there. Uh, I mean, it's probably your favorite corset, the corset of witchcraft. Let's face it. No. If I know stray at all, it's the corset of witchcraft. Because I think as well, the only other corset is the one that allows you to fit into anything. Which, don't forget, don't get me wrong, is a really cool power to have on a corset. Don't forget the corset of bees. Corset of bees. Her AC was 25. Why? Everyone just so all of the martial classes hold up their weapons and start crying like Uruk. Because very few can handle the girth. Wait, no, we're all like sand people instead. Alright, um, and with that, uh, I believe that's a good time to call the session to a close because next time we will be journeying into the sands, the horrible sands on a four day journey to a sunken sun temple. Very delightful. How much experience do we get? Does that mean we might meet a sandworm and get spice? You gain uh, approximately five floof bucks worth of experience. Dope. Can I trade those in for fabulous prizes? Like those plastic uh, whistles of Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah, or just like, you know, the uh, random bottles of alcohol that mysteriously appear on your doorstep. Uh, that's a really good way to sp spend floof bucks, you guys. Could he send me a bottle of sangria? Uh, I'm not sure how well that keeps. Um, well, uh, thank you guys for playing. Is there anything you guys want to do before we draw the session to a close? Uh, 
Well, of course, thank you as usual for running the game, and if you're watching in the stream or you're watching in the VOD, I hope you have yourselves a lovely motherfucking good time, and please do take care. Bye stream! Bye stream! Bye stream! Bye stream! Bye stream. Bye stream. Bye stream. I can subscribe.